Hello and welcome to another Gelfing Commander T Talk Show. This is the report on the Southampton car boot sale. Hello. And how are you today? Alright, how are you? Um, fantastic, thank you. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> You've got to sound you positive on the radio fantastic. or whatever. You can't have a sad day or depressed day. <laughs> Why not? Well, on these shows. Know, I'm just dandy. <laughs> you got to you got to be happy, happy. <laughs> half glass full, not half glass empty. <laughs> Anyways, let's go straight to the car boot sale. Another early morning for me. <laughs> <laughs> Feeding my addiction of going through other people's stuff. <laughs> Nosy Parker. Um, I think I am. So, this uh, the first few pictures obviously will be dark. Yes, because it was early. Early You morning. were mad. Oh man. And this is a HP iPack something 2001 series. What like is it a, like a tablet or something? It's or? a personal digital assistant. So Ew. if you imagine before tablets and iPads, people had these uh, mini computers. They weren't touch screen, you had to use a stylus. Uh, yeah, I vaguely remember something like that long time yeah, ago. But basically, the batteries weren't brilliant because th these screens used a lot of power as mm. well. I mean, it's a, it's a collectible item if it worked. Really? Um, well, someone bought it, and when I went round, it was gone. Yeah. <laughs> Next! Next. <laughs> uh, lamps. thingies. Lamps, I think they look like. Yeah. Not sure. Well, I'll, I'll go through these dark ones quickly, because obviously um, yeah. the light is not very good. Are you looking at it? It's a, um, it looks like a... Um, Ivory. A Thai... Thailand or um, Asian figurine there or something. Probably. Is it a Japanese plate or... I don't know what that is. Carving or something. What we got here? It's people or a yellow person. Uh, this is the house clearance lorry. Oh, I was going to say hey, that is the toilets. <laughs> no, this is where all the people like like bees to honey. That's where they all pile out of the van that they've come in. <laughs> yeah, but basically, if, if you don't know what house clearance is, is basically it's basically well, it's self-explanatory, really. Yeah, you <laughs> let's say you've inherited a house. Well, people may not know around the world, and you want to sell it as soon as quick as possible. You got to empty all the uh, you stuff. Got, you got years and years of stuff that people collected, and you can't take it with you. Obviously, it's still yeah, there. It'd be too big a coffin. <laughs> too big a coffin, and you pay these people, you know, hundred pounds, and they take all the stuff away. Mm. And what they're going to do with that stuff is obviously worth something to somebody. So mm. they either go to these car boot sales or flea markets and offload it for mm. really low prices um, yeah. or sift through it and then resell it through different channels yeah. it doesn't go to the tip well no or uh, the rubbish dump right next we've got what's it like a um Scalette uh, Strix yeah. it's a micro one it is, it is an official Scalette Strix set actually mm. um, I had one of these I remember when I had it for my birthday, ah. and they're really expensive. Yes. And this is the micro one; it's not even the full-size cars. Oh, I remember when I was little, looking through um, th toys and things like that. Scale electrics were already were always really expensive. Next bicycle, it's a whittle bicycle. It's a woman's shopping folding bicycle. Mm. That's quite nice, actually. I wouldn't be able to. Well, you long can't distance, really it? sit. Well, no, they're not designed for long distances, no. are they? Picture. Picture. Nice countryside picture. Mm. What's it? Cards. A pack of cards on the back. It's a famous painting. I can't remember who it's um, done by, but there was a stamp, a set of stamps done in the eighties, I think it was, and they was that was one of them. Well, I've got the boy it. in red, is it? Yeah. I can't remember what the name is of the um, painting. On the back of it, it says, Waddington's Fine Playing Cards. It's got a gold embossed yeah. thing. So it's a nice little set of cards, actually. I wonder what the um, the rest of them would have been, the backs of the rest of them would have been like if there was that picture on the front. Well, no, they all had the same backs. Oh, did they? Yes, I just had a quick look. That's quite nice. Ooh, that's different. Um, it's meant to be like Japanese and that. 
That's weird. I think that is a calendar, do you think? I haven't a clue. When those... Um, is it the main calendar? Yeah, but I can't imagine that that would be... Um, no, it's modern. Yeah. I, I remember when we went to the 2012 and we had the people drawing the pictures of the main calendar for the end of the world. Yeah. And they're rolling down this big rock and it says, oh, we ran out of space at 2012, so it must be the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> of course it didn't happen. No. Well, it'd be a bit late if it was wasted. It was nice though. I think someone bought it for a pound. It's not old it's though. It's weird. I can't imagine it's... Uh, it looks like a board game. <laughs> Start from. What was it car or something? Um, that is a model of the Dukes of Hazard car. Someone oh. put it to one side. The general. Um, staking their claim. <laughs> it's a plane. It's a toy plane that was bought. It's keyboards. Two keyboards of unknown make. Mm. I think it says groovy tunes. Mm. Hoover's. That person's there all the time. No, this was another set of Henry's sold by another person. <laughs> Brand new, they're eighty pounds. I saw them in ASDA today, yeah. actually. Um, if you're in America, that's Walmart. And I think they're about twenty twenty five pounds um, at the car boot sales. <laughs> that's different. It's a picture of a battle. Yeah. A panoramic picture. Military. Two red pots. Yeah. They're a bit bright, aren't they? And some lamp. Yeah. Hmm. What's that? Is that like a um Oh God, what's the name for for boats and things? It's um. What are we looking at? The brass thing in the front, the circular thing. That a one. Compass. Is that what it? What? I don't know whether it's. I have no idea. I don't know whether whether it's a um. Latitude, longitude thing. You look at the stars. No, that's triangular. Yeah. No, it's not a um. Not one of those. But I'm sure that's something nautical. I think. So those two vases at the back. Quite nice. I think they were twenty pounds. I never know if they're valuable or not. So I don't. I just stay clear um, of those. It's um, unless you get to look at the markings and you know what you're on about. There's no way of knowing. A bust. Uh, that looks scary. It's a bit, so eyes are closed. It's creepy. It's a bit um dark. That it looks like she's got green skin. To be honest with you. That could be in a haunted house. <laughs> she comes alive at night. Oh, nice. Give everybody nightmares. Oh, PlayStation man. Uh, telescope. That, that's a telescope. It's nice. Oh, yeah. How much do they want for that? I don't know, but someone bought it. Ten pound? Do you think? <laughs> I'd be surprised if it was as cheap uh, as that. I see telescopes all the time, though. Really? People buy it at Christmas for a present, and they don't really use it because they live in the city, and then they got light pollution. You can't see anything yeah. out of it. My brother would like one like that. Well, if you live in the country, yeah, then you could, because all you're looking at is the moon, but you can't really see any well, stars. Yeah, you do look at the, um, do look at some stars and look at some. Um, we live in the city. Venus I can't see like the stars. Oh, but us, I'm talking about. <laughs> oh. Anyway, next. Your brother who lives in the country. Yes, in the country. What's that? Old Scrabble games, board games. Oh. Scrabble? Scrabble. Vintage. <sighs> but probably not complete. Plays and players. This is a stack of magazines, all entitled Plays, plays and, and Players. And the Critics Awards, thank goodness. So this is from the house players, obviously. I'd have to see those. somebody who was a theatre girl. Into the obviously. arts, yes. Oh, one of those again. Um, this is a needle, because we saw the bell-shaped one. And this is a beehive make yeah. needle gauge for knitting. Yeah, different. 
and obviously it came from there it's a knitting bag well it's a sewing thing it's got sewing. buttons and goodness knows what else and the tape measures so if you see a house clearance there's bound to be a bag of this kind of <laughs> stuff and then you can find one of those needle gauges which apparently is collectible in the middle of this collectible chloride mm. washing machine that's a bit heavy to carry on with isn't it oh uh, people do buy them <laughs> I think I might have taken a picture of there we go. The ah, next. I'm ready biscuit tin. Ah. Is it not a wine? No. There's oh, amaretto, oh. which is the wine, but you've got amaretti biscuits, which are the Italian biscuits that they mm. put in like tiramisu and stuff like that. Or if you go to a really expensive coffee shop. Yeah, you get given one on the side of your coffee, yeah. Camouflage canteen. What? It's a helmet. Oh, it's a helmet. I thought it was a canteen. It looked round enough to be. It's a canteen. A water bo A water container. Oh no! It's a like army forces helmet. I'm surprised they're able to sell that. Uh, this is one of the house clearance. I don't know why uh, it's got one. Popular books for girls. <laughs> That's old. Uh, it's just short stories for girls. Yeah. Ah, a box. <laughs> ah! A box. So now it's guess what's inside the box. What's in the box? Stuff. Do you think? Junk. Stuff. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, lots of stuff. <laughs> I was well, right. A mini pack of playing cards. There's like fool's gold in there. Pyrites. It's not pyrites. It's pyrite. Pyrites and a fake lump of silver there. Uh, packs of cards like you're getting um, some Christmas crackers. Uh, um, so it's nothing. No. Hopefully. Yeah. Hardy as hell. The date on this was 1960 something, so it was really old. Yeah. Do you think it's worth a lot of money? No. Mm, that's a shame. Oops, step system. Sea lines. Uh, this is from the house clearance again. This guy collects or collected magazines about cruise ships, it looks like. That's quite sweet. That is a... A long clock. A gold... I can't, I can't remember it. the make of it. Gold bull, it said on there, actually. Gold bull? Yes. It's a German... West German. This is before Germany... Or this is... Yeah, before the, the wall came down. That split oh, yeah. West and East Germany. So, put a date on this. So, at the time it was split... It was, yeah, it was made yeah. in West Germany. Yeah. But it had a bit of rust and everything. Yeah, you can tell. Well, it's because it's just metal. It's not um, brass or anything like that. Well, it's five pounds. But I've seen <laughs> similar ones on the internet auction sites for f five pounds. And they're brand new. Yeah. It's and made in West Germany. No, it wasn't worth five pounds at the, um... No. Not, not in that not state. No. But... Next. Old, it was old. Yeah. Oh, it was a teapot. Not solid silver, so no, no of value. It wouldn't, be. it wouldn't be any solid silver sold at a, um, at a car boot sale, I very much doubt. <coughs> was it pens and stuff? In yeah, there? there's a pencil case of some sort. <sighs> Odds and bits, is a, is a right mix up in there, that's uh, pretty. I've taken a closer shot of it. I think inside that parrot box was like. Um, it's pencils, pencils. Conte. Yes, yeah, colouring pencils. Conte. Oh, so you know the make. No, it's French, dear. I I did German. <laughs> <laughs> Conte à Paris. Yeah. Is it a guess inside the box time again? It's probably art stuff. No. Well, I don't even. Where'd it go? Oh yeah. That, that was it. You had the pictures around the wrong way around again. Okay, that's what the box that had the yes. <laughs> like. Well, I won't edit it the video <laughs> now. <It's laughs> As an iron. That was an old iron. You see, that was a pound. Mm. It's an old iron. Yeah. Is it worth a pound? Yeah, it can be. But the thing is, is that the um, cord can. Um, no one's going to use it. I mean, I remember we had these old irons when I was in my parents' house, and they took like half an hour just to heat up. Whereas the new ones are there, you plug it in and away you go. Yeah, yeah. 
so it's just for collectors value. It could be a rare antique worth hundreds and hundreds of pounds. No, maybe not. Hmm. Worth nothing. Oh, that's pretty. It's a kingfisher of a broken wing, unfortunately. Oh, sad. So Worth nothing. Why bother just put it up for sale if it's broken? Well, if you're doing a house clearance, you don't go through it. You just chuck it all in a lorry or truck. Of course they go through it. Do they really go through it and see risk? anything of value. Well, yeah. But anything else? They're not going to sift out the rubbish, are they? <laughs> they haven't got time. Time is money. <laughs> That's a weird owl. It's a fax machine and three bits on it. It's an owl and an elephant and some sort of... Box. Oh. That inside that silver cylindrical container was a, a thumb what? thimble. Thimble, that's it. Sewing thimble. That's pretty. Um, some picture. It's <laughs> a funny tea pot. No, that was a plant pot. I oh, took really? two pounds for it, and uh, someone bought it. Uh, it's ugly. It's different. It's weird. It's ugly. It's full of soil inside. Uh, well, yeah, it would be if it's a plant pot. <laughs> That's a violin with a lot of broken strings. <laughs> Someone bought that. Well, the fact you can get it restored. Imagine it looks like it's missing a bit of wood from the base of it as well. Well, do it you think it's from a famous violinist? It's not a Stradivarius or something. Is that what I was thinking? Uh, no. what's it, how much are they worth? Well, they're worth... 100,000. Uh, yeah, but that's not... It's nothing like that. But the thing is, that the amount of money it would cost to get that restrung and fixed and that would be a couple hundred pounds, whereas... You can buy one for about probably about sixty quid. And what on earth is that supposed to be? Um, that's some sort of wool thing machine. You sit on it, yeah. and then there's like a like a handle that you rock. You put wool under there, and it ta detangles it or something. Weird. I don't know why would anyone want one. Oh, lots of games. PlayStation One games. These are all two pounds. Mm. Um, yeah, they're not. I don't know the market that well. All I know is Crash Bandicoot and CTR Racing are worth ten or twenty pounds. So if they had one, that I'd buy that. Mm. <laughs> but uh, I don't think there's anything interesting in there. Um. um, this doesn't come out too well. It's some sort of all brand new sealed board games. They look the same. They are all the same. They're all two pounds each. Some are obviously acquired overstock. Okay. Oh, Weird. we're about two thirds of the way through. We need to keep going. Candlesticks different. They were bought. Then the house clearance again. You can tell because they've got they put them on the fridges. Yeah. If it wasn't for the um, I think they'd be nicer if they weren't black. If they were silver. Oh, you could colour. spray that. I know. I'm just saying if they were silver. I mean, if you silver. picked those pair that pair for eight quid, you sprayed them. Is that how much they were? Uh, I guess so. Probably less actually. Mm. Typewriters. Oh, these. I'm not buying these. I well, haven't bought them luckily. Do you know what that one at the back's like the one that David had years ago? Uh, they're too heavy and they're too numerous. I learnt to I first learnt to type on one like that. And then I learnt touch typing on a BBC <laughs> computer. BBC micro. Uh, this one, some sort of oriental picture. Mm. Oh. Toby jugs at the back there, a horse plate. Some sort of bonsai trees well, that aren't real. Well, there's one Toby jug. What's that of? Uh, I recognise the face, but I can't think of the name. It's not Rip Van Winkle. Uh, no, that's the other one. I can't remember now. Campaign. Old board games. News desk campaign. Mm. Game of Nations. Mm. What's that? Duh. Some sort of warrior. I don't know. Not milkmaid this time. No clue. Do you know what this is? Can't see from the... Uh, no. I've no idea what that is. I know there's a fridge at the back there. Uh, <sighs> don't know what that is. Do you think they hang meat? Oh, that? I don't know. I couldn't, like I couldn't guess. It could be, have, could be anything. I should have asked him. But it's probably really expensive brand new. It's industrial. Mm. 
Um, that's some sort of wizard on a plinth. The Den of Secrets. Uh, strange. Spoons! <laughs> Rubik's Cube. And Jesus, but uh, yeah, it's, it's facing it's kind the wrong of, way. Um, um, There's a seahorse yeah. and another Toby sort of jug. Yeah. Games. The Game Boy there. Pool cues as well. And that's some sort of. I think it's a soccer or football electronic canal game. Mm. Eeyore! There's an albino eel. No, it's an angel eel actually. Ah, I like eel. It's a gun! Inductive timing light, it says on there. Mm. I thought this was a speed camera <laughs> that the police use, but it's not. Yeah, they I wouldn't sell one of those. I could look it up and see what Inductive it is. timing light. I can't be bothered. Strange. Another Oliver T typewriter. It's in nice condition, that one. Is it? It's got a case and everything. No. Oh, there's more of those um, brass things that go on... Um, Horse carriages. Yeah. Uh, on horses, um, tack, cutlery cups. Old Robert's radio. Robert's a radio. Toys. Mm. Um, there's a gnome there with a football. Uh, <laughs> there's a gold bar there that, at the bottom left. <laughs> yeah, right. No, it's another one of those um, coin piggy banks. Mm. Okay. Somebody um, with a um. Well, this person turned up and they had a box full of these resin figures. Mhm. Mm and um, um, next to it was this. No, I've taken another picture of another generic one. Mhm. Mm it's a butter container. A oh, butter dish. With a biplane, a yellow biplane. It's different. This is utterly butterly, that's the make. Uh, that is the oh, 2012 that Olympics. Thing. London Olympic why mascot. They why they chose that thing is um, with one eye in it. I have no idea what that was about. <laughs> they go under a lot of criticism. Uh, um, oh, the wizard. Yeah, mm, the wizard. Butter dish. A closer, try and get a closer shot of the, the butter dish. dish mm. Yeah. That's quite nice. Yeah, like I said, um, this person had lots of these figures. I guess after a while, we, we get rid of them, I suppose. Yeah. That's an Indian Yeah, Red Indian, Indian chief. It's a nice one. I like that. And, um, they had this as well. Tribal. Person. Yeah. WF. Well, WWF. Um, it's like a video game mm. handheld. What's that? Old cameras. cameras and all sorts. Tell me. Quiz game. That's an old game. That's quite pretty. Very Not ornate. Old. No, very ornate. <laughs> it's um. Looks old. The word that's the look, isn't it? That's um. It's one of those things, though, that you tell me you couldn't just look right anywhere. It's got to be in the right setting, You've really. Got to have the right house. <laughs> Drone alert. That's a. What's that doing there? That's not from the car boots. No. Um, afterwards, I went into the supermarket and I saw that picture. Uh, um, I, <laughs> I think I. I put that in there because I think these drones that people are buying now. Uh, the GoPro cameras on there, yeah. and they can just fly around in real time. Yeah. So imagine like a radio control helicopter, mm. but you could fly it beyond. No, oh, yeah, I know. Visual yeah, it was range. one of those things that got twenty feet off of a um, big plane's plane's wing, which could have easily gotten its engine and crashed. Yeah. So people have to be so careful. I think in America they might it might be illegal to fly them above your house. Oh, yeah, it should be. So they're it's like a, they're more of a toy than they are, or supposed to be, rather well, than they exactly. Yeah. I mean, would you really want to risk, you know, causing a Accident. crash of all those people? I mean, well, I've seen the YouTube videos of people filming on this, and it's like flying around. You are actually flying in real time. Oh, well, it's yeah. quite amazing. Mm. 
And you can fly really high up, like a thousand feet off the Which ground. Which is the problem. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, we've, got, we've, got, we've got this mug, actually. I took it home. There it is. Oh, yeah. It's got the Lancaster bomber. It's got we've had about half a dozen planes on it, didn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's an alarm clock for two pounds, which I'm keeping. Yes, <laughs> it's it quite funny. That is. Um, if anyone's not seen Only Fools and Horses, it was a 1980s uh, sitcom. What was it? It was you pressed the button and it went it like it said, "Rodney, Rodney, wake up, you dipstick!" And then it came on with the music yes. for the. Um, so I'm keeping hold of that. <laughs> and I bought this for a pound as well, which ah. I have done another video on. It's some vintage mm. um, game. Thing. Yeah. Game. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Did you? Yeah, it's okay. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Thanks, Ed. Bye. Bye.